Welcome to Controls Explorer. This video we will show you how to create an online trend using Rockwell RSLogix 5000 software. Currently, we are online with a compact Logix processor. Now, whether you have a compact or a control Logix, it's the same process. So, let's begin here. First, make sure that you are online with the processor. Next, go to the trend select right click and obviously select new trend it's definitely important for you by this time to identify the tag or the variable you are going to display in the trend the trend window is now launched so give a name once you give a name next move on to selecting the tag that is the variable you are going to display for this example hmi timer elapsed time so select the tag find it out select and add it once you select the tag that is the variable for the trend you are pretty much done for now next we are going to find out how do you select the color of the pane how do you assign the x-axis that is a time range and how do you specify the range for the y-axis whether automatic or manual as per your tag range so select this window right click properties over here the panes you select your color x-axis select your time range 30 seconds over here for example and y-axis you have a choice of automatic or custom i personally prefer to use customs because i know what my tag range supposed to be so for example this one we have 0 to 30 that is the tag range next or launch save it and run the train now the train is pretty much launched and running but we are not quite happy with the blue pen color so let's change the pen color to something else next we will stop the train again select it right click chart properties go to paints and select your color say for example yellow for this with the black background apply hit ok and again run the trend so now the pen color changed to yellow from earlier blue one next we are going to change the range for y-axis the objective is making it very close to the actual tag range so let's look at the program this is where hmi timer elapsed time in second look at the range here how far it goes and come back to the trend so stop the trend again select the trend right click chart properties go to y-axis and change the range to 10 0 to 10 that's what we had seen the tag range let's run it again so you have the whole window now thanks for watching this video and if you have any question please do not hesitate to contact us our email id tech support at controls-explorer.com and we would be more than happy to work with you thanks again bye now